What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiser Egg mod. We're playing as Dominion of India here. Last episode, we were making preparations to go in on the National Protection Alliance here, which is really the only country left over here. Let's go to the factions. Ah, that doesn't have a faction other than towards our west here, which we could try to go in on the Ottomans here eventually. Iraq and Syria have uh, popped off a civil war there. Um, everybody else up here is sort of part of a faction and then uh, over this way as well. So if we can expand the territory a little bit further going this way, that puts us in a good position to concentrate efforts towards the west and sort of get ourselves positioned to see if there's going to be a huge all-out war between any of these factions here late game, which should be pretty interesting. I like the way that's shaping up. Now, let's go ahead and get started. So we need to pick a new national focus, right? And I know we were looking towards the new India here with uh, claims sort of happening as soon as possible. So let's go... Hmm. Ah, I can't move down that area very much. I could get a new research slot here, so let's try to take that. We've got positive political power, so we're going to keep that rolling. And then we're pretty close here to the justification being finished. 40 days or so until that is done. You had Russia up here uh, defeated last episode, and it was re-released by Germany as a puppet. And now part of the Middle Europa, so that Middle Europa faction is getting pretty, pretty big there. Ah, infrastructure takes a little bit of damage. Some of the old princely cores there are still pretty pissed off about things. I've got uh, 53 divisions sitting over here in reserve in case they're needed. Syria falls there. I'm assuming Iraq is going to be next. They can't have a ton of divisions. Let's see, in between 16 and 17 there. To be expected, Mongolia declared war on the Empire of Japan. Okay. So you've got, that means the Khanate, the Great Khanate here, is at war with the Co-Prosperity Sphere, so they're going to beat up on each other quite a bit. Still sitting at 100% world tension right now. Back over here, they've got in between 52 and 96 divisions in this country. And so I'm thinking, why don't we do this? We're going to take all of these divisions here and try to fund, or try to get them to be led by that field marshal, okay? So now he is Teal by himself, 48 divisions overall, and we're going to have him try to take the capital here first and foremost, uh, overrun a couple of these cities leading into the capital. We've got our Air Force positioned nicely. So those 48 divisions are saying, hey, we've got a pretty good matchup here. Uh, so I could, I could take from this grouping over here and add some more in. Let's go ahead and try that. I know we were having some supply issues, some, inf uh, some infrastructure issues potentially earlier. We go to constructions. Boom. Yeah, we've got good infrastructure going over here now. Making some more civilian factories. We are missing some resources. Uh, actually quite a bit of steel that we're missing now. So all of the ships have basically halted production because of that. Night Vision 1 is finished. Hmm, let's go ahead and get the uh, anti-motorized weapons here, level 2. It is 1944 here overall. Unassigned Divisions, new tank division has just popped out. So that is a heavy tank division. So I go to my army here. I've got 13 light tank divisions. And one heavy tank division. So that first round of heavy tanks coming through for us. Uh, making those Black Prince units here. And uh, definitely suffering from some steel shortage. So let's at least get those tanks in a position where they can produce a little bit better. Buy some more there. Canada. Kingdom of Canada has a little bit there as well to offer. Okay, still missing, uh, wow, 48 more units. The good news, though, is we're still producing over one of those per day, even with the steel shortage that we're seeing. We'll buy from Greece. 
We'll buy some from you. Australia. We could take some factories back here because the French are no longer selling those really. All right, that works. Kingdom of Italy. I saw earlier they're actually not part of a faction right now. Justification of conquering on Dominion of India is finished. Okay, so we can go ahead and kick off this war here. Let's double check. No faction. No air force to worry about. So we're going to have complete air superiority. So I'm feeling like we should be able to storm through here pretty easily. My heavy tank division is up here, posted up right here. Let's declare, conquer, send. All right, we're off and running. Let's go ahead and have our guys start executing here with the invasion plans. Okay, we just got a new core over there, which is nice. Uh, got 1,100 airplanes at work in here. 600 close air supports, 502 in uh, long-range fighters. So they should definitely be able to help with keeping these guys on the run. So they're going to have a lot of divisions, obviously. I just do not know how well supplied they're going to be because... Uh, they did not have a huge amount of industry. For example, we have 176 factories. They have like 40 to 50 factories overall. And that's civilian and military factories combined. These four units, let's have them... Uh, okay, that's going to turn green for us. Casualties, 16k to 13k there so far. 14k. So about even so far on the losses... And, of course, we're going to try to micro in where we can. Heavy Cruiser, new Heavy Cruiser is done with its research. So I did want to swing back around and sort of try to get a battleship in the fleet. So let's start researching there. And then Heavy Cruiser 3, we can bump you up like this. Are we, are we about to get any new steel? We're about to get a little packet of 28 new steel there coming in we're also working on the excavation to try to boost up those steel numbers because we are extracting almost a hundred of those right now so we'll get bonuses from those techs when we research them out oh we're starting to take heavier casualties than they are um, this is a tough position to be in in terms of terrain because you can see all of the mountainous areas up here yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty wild, actually, as they try to make it through. Got more repair jobs to do now. We do have a third line of civilian factories starting to work on those. Good, I just got a new research slot. So let's get, let's continue with the excavation research there. New national focus, nuclear program. Yeah, let's take the nuclear program uh, bonus there. I'm liking that. We're also going to need to continue saving up political power for when we annex over here. So if I take a look in the region, they've got a little bit of anti-air going. Look at all the enemy troops that we have bombed out. That's what's up. Over 150 in the last couple of days of the fight. We've got five fully loaded divisions here ready to go. We're going to actually have these guys support from the south there. That should push them out and get us up to that river. Coming up on their capital, though. 37k compared to 97k, so we've really got them on the run now. In fact, a lot of the divisions there are trying to catch up to the front lines because we're making so much progress. Let's try an attack going that way. That should be pretty successful. We'll cap out that air base of theirs they have sitting there. And I can invest some more close air supports. Making 4.7k in overall manpower per tick. Still have lots of divisions over here that are good to go. We have quite an expansive empire right now. 
Hmm. Got a new core there, Narisa. So those are slowly coming through. And as they do, we're going to look to uh, unify India properly here soon. Okay, there's some divisions here that can make moves towards the corner of the country here. We'll do that. Seven divisions here need to keep pushing forwards. Have we taken the capital yet? Resistance. We're sitting right at 75% national unity, which is pretty good considering we started off the series right at like, God, I think it was like 15 or 20%. If I remember correctly. Move you guys through. Excavation 2 is done. Let's get Excavation 5 in there. 150 days and we'll max out on all of those. Have you sort of help out and run through up here. I'm imagining the infrastructure out here is going to be really bad. Should be really bad, at least if it isn't. We'll take one um, tank division here and here just to close off that border. And then we've got southern China over here as part of the Middle Europa, so all German held assets over here. Co Prosperity Sphere still fighting against Mongolia and the Great Khanate. I'm just going to move a tank division in over here really quickly. Oh, we've actually got some steel back now. Missing chromium. Yeah, that's going to affect the heavy cruiser production a bit. In fact, does the... Let's double check something. Okay. Does the Navy have a heavy cruiser yet? Yeah, we've got four heavy cruisers so far. Nice. Want to get a battleship in there. Get a large fleet going. Okay, they've actually manned over here now, so let's bring in some reinforcements with an attack here and here. That's going to push them off the capital there pretty quickly. They've got 111k in overall casualties. I have 60k, so it's not actually too bad right now. Seven divisions here are all going to push. Unassigned divisions. All right. We're starting to get more infantry divisions trained up now. I'm going to actually place them over that way. Hmm. Let's boost up the heavy fighter production there a bit. Missing some aluminum now and chromium. Let's try to trade away for those two items. Aluminum there and chromium. From South Africa. They've got tons of that. So now it's just a steel issue again. We'll buy some from Poland as well. Yeah, you see we're extracting 107 now, so those little bonuses that we're getting from the improved excavation stuff helping out. Put you over here. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We've taken their capital. Where's their new one? Over here. Chongqing. Mm, lots of foreign claims over there. Which could be dangerous for us. Let's push here. And here. And here. I'll get them to squeeze that down quite a bit. They're down to over 50% capitulation, 51% uh, left of victory points, 60% towards capitulation there. Uh, let's see if we can move in this way as well. Attack from the south from going from this way. Go here and here and here. Green 81 there that we're going to see. Two infantry divisions holding this position pretty nicely. 
Got a one victory point over here, one here, ten there. So that's their biggest city left by far. Nice. Overran a couple of their enemy divisions there. This guy's got a pretty good charge of organization. Let's send him in. So the Raj unit's still fighting through. Kingdom of Canada still looking pretty normalized over here. Uh, do you want to see how many factories Pacific States of America has? Just out of curiosity. Hmm, quite a bit for them. Over 60. Probably closer to 80. Here we go. Nice research there for the... Well, might as well hit rockets up too, I guess. Uh, let's see. All right, new heavy tank divisions coming out. Send you guys in. Still making new infantry and tank divisions now. And my field marshal over here with his 54 divisions still taking care of business. So they're going to try to automatically help us out with this attack here. We can bring you in from the south. Green 50. We're going to counterattack him here and here. Let's actually have an inf one infantry unit sort of try to poke out the going this way. All right, good. New weapons are out here. The Centurion, those modern tanks, are going to be available here in 1945 coming up. Let's actually swing back around here to the attritional containment. Got him. All right. These four units can attack here just to cover his movements. Move him up this way. Those four units are going to be unsuccessful, it looks like. Let's plug in for some further close air support right here. Whoops. All right, got a little bit of a lag happening here now. There we go. Put in five more close air supports. Excavation level three done. That's good. I still, uh, I'm going to actually want to assign this unit up here like that. So he's got some good range as we continue pushing northwards. All right, let's attack here and here. That's 10 enemy divisions in that area. We're trying to smash from a couple different sides now. Have you go in here and here. These six units should be able to crush through going that way. Actually, no, I want you guys to actually attack to the north. Boom. New research slot here. Let's swing back around to the planes. Time to get new versions of close air and fighters going. Send you out this way if I can. You this way. So have a tank division try to roll through there. All right, good. Getting counterattacked there immediately, but that's fine. We've cleared the enemy uh, through all of these areas. Excellent. And have him try to push even further forwards if we can. Getting counterattacked, though. Okay. And this guy. Send you up going this way. Everyone else sort of still shifting around a little bit. Losing light tanks. Am I still producing those? Yeah. The Valentine. Lots of heavy tanks needed now. If we take a look at the front, what's needed? 40 heavy tanks are missing from the front line. So those are having to be shoved into 
supporting my field marshal over here. Three fully stocked infantry divisions can come in from here. And here, let's bring in a heavy tank division too, just to try to poke through. Okay, he's got two divisions left here. He's going to try to reinforce, so let's bring in a couple guys from this side of things. Three divisions here making moves. Battleship 1 finished. Nice. It's going to be a while before we can build those, so let's go ahead and uh, get the Falcon in. Uh, let's see. Close air support could probably stay in to gain some production. We're getting ready to upgrade those units. We need to update our light cruisers as well at some point. Alright, we're going to get this guy to continue pushing this way. This looks like a good attack going right there. Yep. Mean 73 or so. Got to give a little bit of time for everyone else to sort of get back up towards the front lines here. Looking good over here. Green 51. Let's attack storming down from this way. That heavy tank division should be able to bust through really easily. There we go. Nice. Resistance. Rapport. Rocketry program, still working on that. Chengdao here. One victory point. Let's go ahead and attack the city. Get some close air support coming in there, hopefully. And if we check here, 139k compared to 209k. It can still control 43% of its victory points. This one here will uh, get them to capitulate. So really just a race towards the capital now here at this point. Let's try to uh, box off this group of 12 divisions here. In fact, we can hold them up by doing one of those. There we go. So limiting that movement. We're right on the edge of being able to go into the capital. Keep rolling, boys. Keep rolling. V90, 91. All right, good stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, they just were overrun, I believe. Yep. Very good. So getting towards the outskirts of the capital now. Bringing up that uh, infrastructure in these areas, just from a supply standpoint. Let's get everybody to push on the capital. Green 75 coming in. We're going to have our heavy tank division push across these open plains. That is what they're best at. Five divisions here will move up. Three divisions here could try to push on their city a, a tad there. Got them. Their capital is done. The war is over. Take all of your states. Done. Okay, we took five states there. Okay, our uh, extracted numbers here for steel is tons better. Let's continue saving up some political power for now. We've got free military factories. Let's uh, pump these guys into here. Free civilians. Continue the military occupation. Absolutely. Manage my occupied territories. Look at all the nations we could potentially release here. But we won't, because I don't want to. Beep bop boop. All right. Wow, Mr. Field Marshal. 
much success there. Everyone else sort of part of the co-prosperity sphere, except for Indonesia down here. We could create a fighting force for those areas if we wanted to. Uh, we could also take um, our field marshal and move him here to the Ottomans, which I'm thinking will probably be our next target. Yep. Excavation level four popping through there. Excellent. So anyway, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you guys next time.